So Mark drove Lola to school yesterday. Yes, I know this. Yes. <clears throat> yes. So, and they were listening on the radio to Ryan's Roses. Mark comes home and tells me a story about what happened on yesterday's Ryan's Roses that literally it was all I could think about <laughs> all night long. I could not stop thinking about it. So can we take the audience through it? Because I want to okay. get there. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So, so let me set a, this up. Okay, yeah, you set it up, because so, I'm like third person. So I got a text from Mark telling me he heard it and couldn't believe it, and then I got your text afterwards right. in the in the late late evening. So there's a, a segment on the show where we say, if you think there's something going on in your relationship and you want to get to the bottom of it, send us your story via email, and listeners will send us their stories. Well, the one we got from Vanessa, I think was her name, mm -hmm. she said, look, we're about to get married. <clears throat> I said, when? She said, two weeks from now, we're getting married. Oh my gosh, right around the corner. So in the email she says, but I'm worried because my husband has not been acting normal since he went to the bachelor party. Could you find out what's going on? So we- Hey, Mark left that part out. Go ahead. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's the setup. Now, what we do is we put Vanessa on the phone and we call her husband and we're very quiet and our intern says, hello, is this husband, our fiance, and she sa he says, uh, yes it is. Well, we are doing a special on flowers. Is there a special woman in your life? Would you like to send flowers to anybody in your world? Now, the fiance's name is Vanessa. He on the air says, yeah, actually, I'd like to send them to Christine and say we should do it again. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> So, turn, so then Vanessa hears all this, she jumps on, and they go at it. But the, the, and I, the question became, in two weeks they're supposed to get married, should she call off the wedding? Or, I said she should, but it's so embarrassing to admit that that has happened two weeks before you got about to get married to all your friends and family. I don't know if I could do it. The fact that you said that is spellbinding to me. <laughs> You Why? don't know if you could call off the wedding because you would be embarrassed? She shouldn't be embarrassed. I she be. didn't do anything wrong. I know. You wouldn't have not done anything wrong. He should be embarrassed because he did something wrong. Yeah. 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 I know. Although there is. I know. Although, now hear me out. <clears throat> I'm gonna devil's advocate this. <laughs> she Turn could the tables, also Ripa. Go through with it and spend the rest of her life making his life uncomfortable. <laughs> but see, I, I think you're right. She should call it off. But think of being in that situation. It's two weeks away. I understand. Could you do it? In your, your well, best let me could tell you, you do it? Let me tell you, you what marriage isn't going to fix that situation. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, marriage does not make that, it's not like she's going to marry him and his impulse to be that guy is going to vanish. No, that's the thing. Right. If he's got that trait and he's doing that two weeks before, this is going to be a problem. Inevitably, it will end badly. But God, imagine having to call it off two weeks out.